welcome back everybody to another all things nerd video as always my name is nathan welcome back to exploring the world of azeroth in world of warcraft today i'm going to be showing you guys how to get out of the maelstrom in the uh, middle of the map and uh, i'm going to be showing you how to get there to begin with um so we're going to be going to the maelstrom and we're actually going to be exploring the surrounding area right here um, yeah, I'm excited to go check it out. I've already been out there a few times, but I want to show you guys how I got out and how I got there. Uh, unfortunately, I'm doing this on a rogue today just because, uh, that was the character I had. That was around the level 30-ish. Uh, in order to do this, in order to perform this, you need to accept a quest called, uh, I believe it is called, uh, the Maelstrom. And you actually get it from uh, Narat, the Earth Speaker, if you're on the Alliance. I don't remember the Hork Shaman guy you get it from on the Horde. But it's, a, it's the same thing. You speak to him, you'll get a quest, and he'll have you go to the Maelstrom. You'll meet Thrall. He'll pop a little portal here, and this will be a portal to the Maelstrom. So let's accept it, and let's go in. Now, as you can see, we are in the Maelstrom. Uh, we're officially here, and it's really, really simple to get out of the map really easy to explore uh one thing i wanted to see is what the stinky bright potion looked like in the maelstrom oh man it makes it looks awesome too it's all lit up changed the color of everything too which is i think is really neat um let's actually see what it looks like with the inky black potion oh man that just gives it a whole new look doesn't it that is fantastic i love the orange colors going on there now, how you escape out of the Maelstrom, if you want to go take a look around, behind Thrall down here, there's actually a spot you can just hook shot out, like right there. I'm assuming that same spot you can actually Ventral Retreat out, or not Ventral Retreat, but uh, Infernal Strike out with the Demon Hunter, Metamorphosis, uh, Blink with the Mage, I don't know, I haven't tested on others, Heroic Leap with the Warrior, but yeah, that is getting out of the Maelstrom. Um, I'm excited. Let's go take a look around and see what we can find. Uh, unfortunately, I haven't found a way in the middle of the maelstrom yet. Because every time I try to go out there, I just die. There's just like these random death walls. So we're actually going to take off this. And there we go. I want to give you guys a better look outside here. Now, I may sound a little different today. I just had my wisdom teeth pulled at the dentist. So I, I apologize if I don't sound super uh, enthusiastic on this video. <laughs> But I am excited to just check out things and see some stuff out here. Now, something very interesting is there's like these really just random uh, just death walls, like just everywhere. Um, not everywhere, but like on the edge of the map, like you'll just be walking the way out that way and you'll just randomly hit a death wall. Um, why that is i have no idea but we're gonna keep uh going out this way and we're gonna go take a look and see what we can find now as you can see we are in the water you can see my mini map up here and we're not even on the map anymore but let's keep walking out this way Now, I haven't used the Stinky Bright Potion here yet, so I'm, I was excited to use it out here to see what the colors and everything would change. Now, coming out here, as you can tell, it's just a big smoke and mirrors effect from Blizzard. Uh, especially with the water and all that. If you actually make your way up the hill here, you can see a lot more of the water effect and all that. And the water on top of you if you go up there. But we're going to keep making our way out this way. And... Uh, there's really nothing outside the map, I'll be honest with you guys. I haven't found anything super, like, special. But I was hoping to maybe be able to get to Kassan or the Lost Isles out here. And see if I could find an area to die at and then do that. But I haven't found that yet either. Because I was thinking that would be kind of my last hope to get out there as a, another class. So far, I haven't found a way yet. So we'll see. Now, there is this random, like, needle-looking structure sticking up out of the ground here. Now, if we go out that way more, we're going to die. So, I just kind of want to be, guys, that's really what's special out here, I guess. 
I do love the effect out here. It's kind of neat with the, uh, we got the stinky bright potion going and we got the rain effect. So, you know, there's a really cool ambience out here. That you don't get in all of the, uh, the rest of the game. We're going to go head out this way. And I want to show you guys kind of the effect you get with the water when you're standing um, next to it. As you can tell, there's some water cut off over there. But we're actually going to go move up here. And let's go a little faster here. There we go. Check that out. So we're actually in the water now. Or under. You can see the water better above. So we're actually inside of it. Because technically we're supposed to be out in the middle of the ocean. In the middle of Azeroth. So, really kind of neat to see. Ooh, my computer lags a lot when I do that with the water effects, unfortunately. I've been meaning to upgrade my computer for a long time, and I haven't done that yet. So, hopefully in the next, uh, hopefully in the next year or so, I'm definitely going to be getting a better computer and upgrading my rig. I've been wanting to do that for a while. I've had my computer for roughly around, I don't know, six plus years now. So it's definitely time to look for an upgrade. And I also want to upgrade, not just for WoW, but I want to play other AAA game titles and stuff like that on the side. So. Uh, how are we doing on health? Okay, we're fine. So as you guys come over here, you can kind of get a better shot of what's inside the maelstrom here. I want to get down there because I really want to go see that effect up close. But unfortunately, everywhere I've tried to go, it's all death. You can't, like, Blizzard is really heavy on the death wall in the middle of the maelstrom there. Now, I wouldn't be surprised if that is the same whirlwind pool that they use for the Well of Eternity dungeon because technically, I mean... This was where the Well of Eternity used to locate, or used to be, right? So, why wouldn't they use the same effect? Um, we can kind of get a good shot here if we go around. There we go. You guys can kind of see in there that they have the, uh, the Cyclone going there, and the Whirlwind Pool going down into really nothing. I don't think there's anything actually down there. I think that just kind of drops down in the middle of nowhere, but that would be a really awesome shot if you could jump in there. I'm going to take this off. The Stinky Bright Potion, and that's kind of what the, the game looks like normally. Uh, let's go check out one of these shamans on top of the mountains up here. We got the, uh, the Tarn. Let's go see if we can get to him. I'm actually really excited to be out here because I've been wanting to come out here for a long time. And uh, I don't know why it took me so long. I was trying to get out here on my Demon Hunter, but unfortunately, I already did all the quests and everything going to Deep Home. And I didn't realize how to get out here. <laughs> so I, it was kind of an accident. So I was thinking about actually leveling another Demon Hunter. Just to level 30 so I could do this again on a demon hunter instead of a rogue. Because it'd be so much easier to get around as you guys know. With OBs especially. Let's go check out this tarn up here. There we go. And I think we can get to him going this way. Uh, actually, let's go over here, because we're going to need to walk up the mountain here. There we go. Nice, we got the water back now. That's really neat to see. Alright, um... Alright, we're just going to have to slowly make our way up the mountain here. Now, unfortunately, I don't want to fall, so we're going to have to wait for our hook shot real quick. The only thing is, I don't know if this is actually stable enough ground to where we can actually keep walking up. Nope! 
I knew that was gonna happen. Ooh, we lived. Oh, we earned an achievement, too. Okay, I just messed up. <laughs> That's okay. Um, Alright, well, never mind. That's okay. Actually, is this an easier way to get down? I have not found an easy way to get down to the middle there, so I'm thinking maybe right here might be best. Yeah, that actually might be... Not th that's not too bad of a drop there. If we go here. And then go here. But I'm assuming we're going to die right when we hit the ground. Um, with the death wall, unfortunately. But we can try it. I don't know if this is going to help us, but let's try it. Let's go for it. Oh, we definitely want to be full health doing this. Uh, what do we got here for food? I haven't played on this character in a long time, this tune. All right, that works. All right, let's see if we die or not if we fall. That's a pretty high up drop. Ooh, we lived. Nice. Okay. I thought for sure we would die. Let's see how close we can actually get to this middle part here without dying. We've hit nothing but death walls so far. All right, we're going to have to hook shot over there. All right, and let's heal back up just in case. That's not that big of a fall, but, you know, you never know. There we go. And let's go drop down here. And there we go. We're getting pretty close now. All right, let's zoom in here. I want to give you guys a really awesome shot. Check that out. Alright, I gotta take a screenshot of that. Alright, let's go see how far or how close we can get to the males from here. Nice. Finally, we're able to get down here. So, as you guys can tell, there's not much down here. But just a really awesome view here. Look at that. That's so cool. Let's take another screenshot here. Alright, let's see if we can actually get all the way down and look up. I think we might have passed the death wall, so... But you never know until we actually get down there all the way, right? Um, I think the lowest drop is going to be right over here, but I think we can also drop... Mm, I don't think this would kill us. We dropped pretty far back there. I think if we drop like right here, I think we should be okay. But we definitely got to be careful. Hmm. Let's go for it. We're already here. Alright, we live. Nice. Not too bad. Look at that. Awesome. We got to the bottom of the maelstrom. Alright, making history here, people. And let's get to the very bottom. Because we're already down here. We got to get there, right? Ah. Alright, let's slide. We might die. Yeah, I knew it. But we got to the bottom, so I'm happy. Let's look up. Ooh, awesome shot. Look at that. Cool, cool. So that's the way down. All right. Not too bad. Well, cool, guys. I just want to say thank you for joining me on this adventure in the Maelstrom. Now you know exactly what's out there. Definitely come check, take, take a look for yourself. Uh, I do apologize for my voice again today. You know, I just had my wisdom teeth pulled, so... Uh, not feeling the greatest, but I still wanted to make this video and uh, come out here and check it out. So, all right, guys, as always, my name is Nathan. Take care.